long train trip it's been. No, seriously. Do you realize how long of a trip it was just for me to come up here? I mean, it's so long it would take the whole video which I don't have time for. Greetings and welcome to Ask Them Is You Playboy with the classes. Where have you been? That's a very good question. And I think a better question is, where haven't I been? Because I've been all over the place in the years since I last did one of these things. Seriously, I had to think long and hard, hence the long trip back up here. I was all over the place because I had to formulate more questions so I could answer them and continue my success because I can't do it the right that I once did. You wanna know why? It's because of the fact that I get burned out sometimes. And even I need a vacation once in a while. Now, that long? I think I might have overdid it. I think I just lost track of time. Wait, guacamole! Yes. Care to take back anything you said from the last episode? I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. It could be anything. You know what? Since you have it, let's ponder for a bit. What did I talk about in the last episode? Hmm. Oh, that's easy! The Packers! Because we got Rodgers for four more years and franchise tag to Montana's. Can anybody else do that? I don't care that Denver got Seattle. I don't care that Brady retired. I don't care that the AFC looks tough as hell. Green Bay won the offseason because not only did they get their QB and wideout combo back, but the rest of the NFC is crumbling around them. Who do they have to challenge in the North? Nobody. Max going to the Chargers. Who do they have to challenge in the NFC East? Maybe Dallas. If they get a proper coach, that is. Who do they have to fear in the NFC South? Nobody, because Tampa was their biggest threat and they just lost Brady to retirement. Question mark? So the only real threats to the Packers making the Super Bowl now are the defending champion Rams and maybe the Niners. Now I know what you're thinking. What about the Cardinals? We beat the Cardinals and we were fucking shorthanded in their building on a short wing. So you can only imagine what we're going to do at full strength. So fuck the Cardinals. And besides, Kyler Murray's status is in question. Question mark. So they don't scare me. So it's the Rams and maybe the Niners. So if Green Bay doesn't even make a Super Bowl in this four-year stretch that Rodgers' deal is under, I am not going to be a happy camper. And quite frankly, nobody else will be in the Badger State. I expect a Super Bowl during this run. Yes. Oh, uh, that. Uh, that was actually my evil twin brother, that Kansas jerk with the... All right, I admit I was way off on my fucking prediction from last year. They didn't even make the playoffs. And now they lost them. Now he's gone to the Jets. And Philly was a much better team than I thought. But at least I was right about the Niners. I knew they were going to be a threat. I just thought we were going to be in the playoffs. And apparently Brady did come back and then retired for good. What the hell have I been missing? And I admit, it's Chiefs are bust in the Super Bowl. So I'm just going to keep picking the Chiefs until Mahomes fucking retires. I don't care how loaded the AFC is. But I was right, the NFC is crumbling. The whole South sucks now. I mean, seriously, who are their QBs? Derek Carr for the Saints. Baker Mayfield for the Bucks. We assume Carolina is going with uh, Bryce Young as their starter. Hence, they drafted him first overall. And the Falcons are going with the quarterback from Cincinnati. What was his name? I think it was like Kaiser, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. So the whole South bottom line sucks. Now, you want to talk about a team that's on the rise in the North? How about Detroit? And they get to kick off at the Chiefs. Good luck with the Chiefs. I heart Patrick Mahomes. Wick Bacamole. Yes. But seriously, I think the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. I don't care who wins the NFC. Green Bay's going to suck now. <gasps> Why can't I have anything good? Oh, wait, that's right. Bucks and Blues won the titles recently. Woohoo! Yes. So, who will win this next Super Bowl? I just fucking told you! The Chiefs! I know what you're thinking. What about all those other AFC teams? 
The Bengals, the Bills, the Jets, the Ravens, the Chargers, the Broncos. What do they all have in common? Well, with the exception of the Broncos, really good quarterbacks. Seriously, the AFC is loaded with a shit ton of quarterbacks. You can pick any single one of them, and I wouldn't be surprised if they make it to the Super Bowl. But in the end, the Chiefs are the more complete team. And then the Bengals. I don't really care who comes out of the NFC, quite frankly. There's nobody. Okay, maybe the Niners. Or the Eagles. Actually, no, fuck that. I'm going with the Philadelphia Bulldogs to lose in a rematch to the Chiefs after they lose the rematch to them in the regular season. Did you not see the schedule? They're playing each other like late in the season. But, yeah. Philadelphia Bulldogs and the Niners NFC title game rematch. Much like in the 90s when we had Niners and Cowboys. And the Chiefs and the Bengals in the AFC. Chiefs and the Philadelphia Bulldogs. And the Chiefs will tomahawk the Bulldogs. With guacamole. Yes. What do you make of all this parody in all the big sports leagues? I think that's a good thing. Because you know what that means? It means different teams have a chance to win. For instance, in the Eastern Conference Finals in the NHL, who could have predicted Carolina and Florida? I don't think anybody could. And the Western Conference could potentially have the two new teams in the league square off. That is if Seattle can come back from a 3-2 deficit to beat Dallas and Vegas can eliminate the last remaining Canadian team in the playoffs. But uh, I digress. But you get the point. A lot of parody because everybody was thinking Avalanche and Bruins and they both got bounced on the same night literally in the first round. And as far as the NBA goes, you got two teams that are in the playing tournament that are in the conference finals. Coincidence? They played in the bubble finals three years ago. Do we see a repeat of that, perhaps? I don't give a fuck. The Bucks are out of it. And baseball. My God, the Buckles were winning the division. And they're still doing pretty decent, even though they're on a really, really bad skid. Now, in their defense, they are playing a brutally tough schedule. But have you seen the ALEs? Look at Tampa kicking ass. Shows what the big market knows. Small market reigns supreme. Weak guacamole. Yes. XFL or USFL? Oh, that's easy. The XFL. Which, by the way, I'm glad they came back. Because, uh, yeah, la last video, I kind of was like, you know, the XFL was screwed because of the pandemic. I'm good to see them back. And the battle arts are great. Except they got fucking screwed with a stupid playoff system. They should have been in a title game. Well, I take that back. DC probably would have beaten them anyways. Nevertheless, it's way better than the USFL. Besides, even with the other stadiums having 10,000, that's still better than the arenas that the USFL is hosting. What a bunch of crap. And then there's St. Louis, who's like the big outlier because they got 30,000 in every single one of their games. If you look at the record books, the five biggest crowds in the history of the XFL were all five home games this season for the Battlehawks. That shows you how much St. Louis is passionate about their sports. Fuck you, Crocky, for bailing the Rams out to LA. Shows what you fucking know. By the way, you ain't winning another cup or a Super Bowl this summer. Ha! Weak guacamole. Yeah. With the Twins' vast improved pitching, can they make a push for the World Series? Oh, you better believe it. Except there's one teeny tiny problem with that theory. Hmm, let me think. It's on the tip of my tongue. They had no fucking offense! Have you not seen their games lately? They're going like three, two, one, four, maybe at most. And they're fucking alternating wins and losses. If they fucking had an offense, they'd be running away in that crappy division. I'm serious. Nobody else has a fucking complete team like the Twins. Their pitching is going to take them far. It may make them a playoff bound team, finally. As far as the World Series push, no. They single-handedly will not. They need to get an offense. Otherwise, it's going to probably be Tampa. Or, oh, I don't know. Houston might make a push. And then as far as the NL goes, they have two usual suspects. It's the Dodgers. It's the Padres. It's the Brewers. It's the Braves. You pick which one. I don't give a fuck. But I think the Twins could win the division, if they can get some offense. Yes. What will happen if you answer this question? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh my god, I'm the fucking Wild Force Megazord! 
This is the Wild Forest Megazord saying, there's no such thing as a dumb question until the orgs ask it. You dumbass!